Good evening, I'm Anson Gray. And I'm Asia Luna. Welcome to TCTV. Tonight, we are coming to you live from the beautiful Thelma Shalafu Junior High School. We have an exciting broadcast this evening with the real stories that really matter. Did you know that Thelma Shalafu School is one of the two brand new schools that opened this year in the Edmonton Public School Division? As a matter of fact, I did know that. Do you know how I knew that? Well, it's because I'm a student here. Anson, can I ask you what you were most impressed with at TCS when you walked in for that very first day of school? Well, Alicia, that's a great question. There are so many things that just amazed me. It's hard to just pick one. But I suppose if I had to choose, it would be the design of the classrooms and the learning communities. I don't think I've ever seen so much awesome classroom furniture and comfortable seating. How about you? Yes, I totally agree. But the things that stood out the most to me were all the teachers and staff. They were so friendly and helpful. They all have awesome personalities and make class pretty fun. Yes, you're absolutely right. Oh, just a minute, Asia. This just in. We have a breaking story. We are going live to our on-location reporter, Jim. Jim, what do you have for us? Yes, good evening, Anton and Asia. I'm here on location in the impressive gym space here at Thelma Shalafu School. Word has it that after a tough day of teaching and learning, the staff here at TCS like to unwind with some friendly competition. You can see on the far court, we have a friendly match of ping pong taking place between a few of the staff members. At Thelma Shalafu, they pride themselves on fair play and good sportsmanship. Over here on the main court, there appears to be an intense game of one-on-one -on -one basketball between Mr. Ostapowicz and Mr. Singh. These two are the epitome of physical fitness, and it will be interesting to see how this plays out during this evening's broadcast. This is Gymnasium, live on location from the Gymnasium. Back to you, Anson and Asia. Thank you, Jim. We're excited to check back in and see how things are playing out between Mr. Ostapowicz and Mr. Singh, two dynamic, athletic figures in action. Anson, I'm not sure if you realize this or not, but there are a lot of really intelligent people in this school. Uh, yes, Asia. I would like to think that I might be one of those intelligent people. Psh. Um, well, anyway, as I understand it, there is a serious battle of wits taking place tonight in our language arts department. For more information on this, we're going live to our reporter, Rita. Hey Rita, what can you tell us about the world's smartest person competition? Yes, good evening Anson and Asia. My, 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 we are in the final moments of this intense competition. Amazingly, all competitors hail from Thelma Shalafu. What a coincidence, let's listen in. And the final question. In this ultra competitive, high stakes contest to win the title of the world's smartest person is <clears throat> this crew word means being your own boss. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! For the first time in history, we have a three-way tie. This is impossible. Students, where did you get this wealth of knowledge? Our social studies teachers and our language arts teachers taught us to retain and synthesize this information. Also, we have learned the value of citizenship and personal responsibility through the role model of our school's namesake, Thelma Shalafu. And we're all around good kids, so we know stuff. Well, there you have it, Anson and Asia. This is Rita Lock signing off from the Humanities Wing at TCS, where smart people are certainly homegrown. Wow. Thank you, Rita. What a story. Such brilliant students here at Thelma Shalafu. I don't know about you, Asia, but color me impressed. I couldn't agree more with you, Anson. We do have some pretty smart cookies here at TCS. Speaking of cookies, have you checked out the foods room here at Thelma Shalafu? I know with the pandemic this year, we haven't been able to use the room like we normally would, but rumor has it, Mrs. Sumner makes a pretty good cookie. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try the culinary foods option next year. Speaking of option courses, I think it's awesome that students get to take an option class once a week for a full half day. 
Yep, a full half day means that students and teachers have time to explore, create, and immerse themselves in the super cool option courses offered here at TCS. Hey Anson, I heard that Mr. Forstner's dissection option is pretty cool. Apparently, his students got to dissect a squid. I heard they also got to dissect a shark. And a mink. Wow. For more on this story, here are two, here are two of our top TCTV reporters, Pete and Earl. Over to you guys. Good evening, Asia and Anson. I'm standing inside one of the incredible science labs here at Thelma Shalafu School. This is where all the action happens. Mr. Forstner's students have been busy this year learning all the ins and outs or should I say, insides and outsides, of a variety of animals with our awesome dissection option. Very fascinating work, Grade 7s. Let's check in with Pete at the other lab. Thanks, Earl. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but TCS has the privilege of having one of the top science teachers here in all of Edmonton Public Schools, Miss Hawaiian. In fact, she has won awards for being so amazing. Her number one priority has always been safety first. Let's check in to see what she might be working on. Oh, nothing to see here, nothing to see. Oh, um, I'm sorry everybody. We seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties. So on that note, we'll be right back after this break. Do you have a difficult time trying to find rehearsal space for your mariachi band? Or are you constantly trying to find a location large enough to host your meetings with a society of creative anachronism? Are you always looking for just the right location to practice those classic 80s dance moves? Well look no further. Thelma Chalifu School offers this gorgeous atrium space to suit all of your personal and learning needs. You can study in here by day, and then on the weekends, you and your friends can do whatever you want. Like these guys. Don't hesitate another moment. Just pick up the phone and dial 155-266-6487. That's right, 155 Among Us. Come to TCS, where you can be Among Us. Welcome back. Earlier in our broadcast, we brought to you a live story from the TCS gym. For an update on these athletic developments, we are going to check back in with Jim, in the gym. Over to you, Jim. Yes, thank you, Asian and Anson. I'm still here in the gymnasium where things appear to have taken a slight turn. It looks like the ping pong match has officially ended, but the one-on-one -on -one game of basketball between Mr. Singh and Mr. O continues. It has been a grueling battle, but also an impressive display of, atle of athleticism and peak physical fitness. Although by the looks of things, Mr. Singh may be starting to tire. Mr. Ostapowich appears to be casually staying warm while waiting for Mr. Singh to bounce back. I'm starting to fear the worst for Mr. Singh as it appears that Mr. O has a little bit more left in his tank. We'll check back in with you guys in a little bit later in our broadcast on how this all shakes out. This is Gymnasium reporting live from the gymnasium. Back to you, Asian Anson. Well, Asia, it appears that Mr. O may have the upper hand on Mr. Singh. I wonder how Mr. Singh will handle this athletic setback. Although, if I know Mr. Singh, he will have something up his sleeve. We'll have to check back in later to see how it all unfolds. Turning to our next story, I'm not sure if many people know that our school's namesake, Thelma Shalafu, was in fact a Canadian senator. Senator Shalafu was a pretty impressive lady. She served as a Canadian senator for seven years. I didn't realize this until I became a student here at TCS, but Senator Shalafu worked really hard to make a difference in the lives of her community, her family, and of course, Métis people. I couldn't agree more, Asia. I really enjoyed it when Senator Shalafu's daughter and grandson, Sharon and Josh Morin, were able to speak to us this year about Senator Shalafu. Senator Shalafu worked tirelessly to make a real difference. She advocated for the teaching of Cree in northern school communities as well as improved housing conditions for those families. Senator Shalafu also co-founded the Slave Lake Friendship Center designed to assist women struggling with addiction and abuse. She also hosted a radio show called Smoke Signals from the Peace and worked hard to produce programming focused on Métis culture and history. 
Smoke Signals from the Peace. What a cool name. Senator Shalfu certainly was an impressive lady. Even in retirement, she could not stop working. After she retired from the Canadian Senate, she founded the Michif Cultural Connections Company located in St. Albert. It's no wonder we call ourselves the Senators here at Thelma Shalfu School. You know what, Anson? When I think of all the incredible things that Senator Shalafu did in her life to help others, I couldn't think of a better namesake for our school. I'm proud to go to TCS and call myself a Senator. Me too, Asia. After the break, we'll be right back with one of tonight's top stories, so don't go anywhere. Shalafu, our Learning Commons is second to none. With a vast collection of over 6,000 books, you are guaranteed to find a title that you love. Ooh. How about manga? Whether it is rainbow reading, yes, or perhaps non-fiction, mm-hmm. Manga! Don't forget, we also have fantasy and sci-fi, or perhaps you would enjoy a graphic novel or a comic. Whatever you want, we have it here. When I first came to TCS, I couldn't even lift a binder. The smallest tasks were challenging and I was exhausted by the end of the day. Then I started using the amazing fitness room and bulking up. And I've never felt better. I don't even recognize myself anymore when I look in the mirror. No task is too hard now that I have the advantage of the TCS Fitness Center. Which way is the beach? Is it this way? Welcome back. Earlier this evening, we brought you a story from the TCS gym on how the staff at Thelma Shalafu like to unwind after a long day of teaching. We're going to check back in with Gymnasium from the Gymnasium one last time to see how things have played out with Mr. O and Mr. Singh. Jim, what can you tell us? When we last reported, Mr. Singh looked like he was about to expire. Mr. Singh, what are your thoughts about the game and how it's going? Ah, uh, you know what, that Mr. O, he's a pretty good athlete. But you know what, I got an idea. I got something up my sleeve for him. While Mr. Ostapowicz was in the bathroom, Mr. Singh set up the shoot-away training system and practiced his shot. Before Mr. O knew what was happening, the shoot-away ignited a fire in Mr. Singh and he suddenly got game. He caught a confident Mr. O by surprise and quickly turned the tables on him, as you can see by his unorthodox one-on-one -on -one move. It was quite a battle, but Mr. Singh pulled off the victory in a tightly contested challenge. The final score after two hours was 4-2 to two in favor of Mr. Singh. This has been Gymnasium, reporting live from the Gymnasium. Back to you, Anton and Asia. Well, that was quite the story. The final result certainly caught me off guard. You're speaking the truth there, Anson. I mean, have you seen Mr. Singh play basketball? Boy, that shoot-away training system is the real deal. Our basketball teams are going to be amazing. You're totally right, Asia. Well, we are nearing the end of tonight's broadcast, which means we will be going to our final story. Here with that story is Thelma Shalfu's very own Mrs. Reeves. We are here on scene at Thelma Shalafu School to capture this momentous occasion. Now, it has just been announced that the TCS Virtual Open House will be held on March 11th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the evening. Now, we have Gurjay and Kayla here for their reaction. What should future students look forward to at TCS? At Thelma Shalafu School, you will have the opportunity to experience some phenomenal activities like gym, 3D printing, fit for life, photography, filmmaking, and robotics. Amazing. Kayla, 
Well, I don't think that future students even know what an outstanding experience is coming their way. You'll be surrounded by an awesome bunch of people, including classmates, teachers, staff, and friends. Dama Shalafu is such a great learning environment to explore new ideas each and every day, and it'll hardly even feel like you're in school. This building is so beautiful, so come to Dama Shalafu so you can fulfill your dreams of going to an awesome school. Thank you, Mrs. Reeves, Gurdjie, and Kayla. Anson, it sure was a pleasure working with you tonight, and I definitely look forward to our next broadcast together. Thank you, Asia. The pleasure is all mine. And on behalf of all the students and staff at Thelma Shalafu School, thank you for joining us this evening. We would like to wish you good luck with your pre-enrollment decision when choosing a junior high for next year. If you ask us, you belong here. And remember everyone, be sure to join us on the evening of Thursday, March 11th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. for our virtual open house. Live and pre-recorded activities will be available for everyone to enjoy a full TCS experience. You can access all of our open house activities through our Thelma Shalafu website and Instagram. Good night everyone and thank you so much for joining us this evening.